Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt Napoli here. Welcome to episode 138 of Snack Minute. Kareem, I need you to tell me about this new event that you guys are putting on Cisco Youth Spotlight. I've been hearing things about it. Um, you asked me to talk. I wasn't available or free to actually do that, but I will be attending when I can. But can you tell me a little bit about it? Because it looks super interesting. First of all, you you never you never do anything I ask you for, so I'm not the same <laughs> kind of used to. Um, <laughs> second of all, the, I'm super excited to introduce to you guys uh, Cisco U Spotlight. So, what I've what I when I came up with with this idea within our organization, what I've what I've realized from going to Cisco Live and meeting our community and introducing the Cisco Youth Theater for those who have been to Cisco Live. There's a lot of folks out there that in our in our community, our customers that are um, super into learning and they spend a lot of time in our area that they want to absorb everything that we have, whether it's a certification related learning or just general learning or just about Cisco technologies or what's new with Cisco in general, you know, we've gotten a lot of demand on this. And so what I realized is, is we engage at Cisco Live and then um, we have our webinars and we have learning events that are kind of trickled throughout the, you know, the months between the different Cisco Live locations. So I wanted to put something together that brings in that experience that folks that get to go to Cisco Live virtually to our entire community and reaching to new communities. And this is where um, Cisco U Spotlight kind of came in, collaborated with our uh, great marketing department to, to get the whole theme going. And, you know, as we look at what Cisco is doing and where the technology is going from a Cisco perspective, um, you look at the theme and it kind of aligns with everything that we're doing between you know, Cisco, even DevNet, right, with observability. And so if you look at the theme for Cisco U Spotlight is around connect, secure, and observe. And so um, it's it's the event itself starts um, on April 24th at uh, 8.30. And we have some a great, great lineup for you. And this is, again, using our connections, using the folks that we interact with, you and I, Matt. And so we've gotten some really yeah. good interest from speakers and submissions, just not yours, Matt. And, uh, the, <laughs> you know, if you, look, if, you look at, if you look at our lineup, we have, um, we have Par Marat, you know, our, our VP representing us opening um, our keynote. Um, we have Wendell uh, Autumn. He's doing, you know, some great things within uh, learning and certification. He's a no really well-known author, and so he's doing OSPF neighbor troubleshooting practice. Um, and the way that I wanted to, you know, the way I wanted to to kind of divide this content is um, there are three things. There are three tracks to this event. Um, the initial track is kind of like what we're used to, which is. You know, you attend a 45 minute session, uh, the, the speaker gives you, talks to you about the technology and they do a bit of demo and, you know, Q&A. And so think of it of, as a lecture classroom style track. And then a lot of our folks, and you know this firsthand, Matt, is um, a lot of people like to, to, they love workshops. They love the DevNet workshops. And they they love to do mm -hmm. tutorials and, and, you know, as as you're learning, you, you'd like to get that hands-on. So I've dedicated an entire track to um, around um, basically the hands-on learning. And these are basically mm -hmm. workshops where the learner is going to come in, get into this track. They're going to have a tutorial that they can follow, whether they do it with the, the speaker or they do it after, and they could kind of learn by doing. And this is kind of our hands-on uh, learning track. And then finally, we have a lot of experts in our community. We have our, a lot of experts in learning and certification in general. And so they are beyond the getting started with. They're beyond on understanding a new technology. And so we wanted to tailor to that, that kind of um, hardcore CCIE community that we have. And so we have an entire expert track where we're oh, bringing so in cool. very, very, you know, technical expert conversations as well as thought leadership and this is where you know your boss 
um, Shannon McFarlane <laughs> comes in and he's talking about, you know, what are some of uh, the things that you do with AI and APIs, right? It's a great topic, very popular topic. Um, so it makes sense to have that. And so you can see kind of like just an overview here of um, what a great lineup we have. Of course, we have our technical advocates representing Jason Belk is coming in and doing a hands-on session as well as our boy Quinn here is coming in and uh, doing what he does best with Terraform. And so um, great lineup. I can't, I'm super excited about having this uh, out there for our community. And I love the collaboration between us learning and certification and DevNet. Um, there are a lot of mm -hmm. DevNet topics uh, within this because automation is a hot topic you know, hot topic in for our customers. We hear this all the time. So um, just super excited about it in general, Matt. Yeah, that's cool, Kareem. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, man, you guys are bursting at the seams with uh, content for this. Uh, if I missed asking, I should say, um, does this cost anything? Absolutely not. Just your time ah. and your uh, willingness to learn something new. And so if you look at, if you look at our lineup, it's all free. You can, you know, you can jump and come and go as you please throughout the different tracks. Um, we are um, making, giving priority for the expert track to our CCIEs. And so um, that doesn't mean that you can't get in, but but the CCIEs are, you know, this is for them Getting a um, line. For, from an expert track. Um, you know, I think this is a genius idea, um, not just because I love you and I think you're a brilliant person to begin with, but, um, you know, you guys have been coming out of learning and certifications with so much more material um, that goes beyond uh, what I would call classic Cisco uh, education. Um, so your cloud connection certifications, um, the enterprise network assurance stuff that's coming out. Um, all of those things um, are are a level up, and I think uh, having a, a a whole you know day dedicated to these new areas beyond what we're used to seeing out of learning and certifications, I think is great because um, it doesn't just set the primer for your organization, but it actually does that outreach to learners that says this is what we're thinking about now, and this is what we're going to be thinking about in the future. Um, so that they're ready for when we come out of the out of the door, whether it be from DevNet or Cisco, you go and, hey, here's the new content. This is what we've been thinking about. Um, and, and you're really setting the table nicely with this event. So I'm really excited to see that it's happening and I'm really excited to attend. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, I'm excited to share this with our community and uh, maybe next time we have you on, Matt. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you have anybody fall out of a slot, I can always jump in. No, the opportunity is gone for you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, snackers, uh, you won't be able to you won't be able to see me on uh, April twenty fourth uh, for Cisco You Spotlight, but you can certainly see Cream and many of our other uh, Snack Minute guests um, as they present on their materials in the Cisco You Spotlight event. Thank you so much, and can't wait to see you guys there. Thanks, snackers. See you there.